kind of what we're doing. This is about as far as I can go without um, chance and tearing up my boat when the water's off. So we're we're basically in limbo. We're waiting for the the uh, the current to start flowing. When the current starts flowing, the lake level rises, allowing us to get up into different areas of the lake. Lake Tanicomo is a, a tailwater fishery. What happens is the water from Tanicomo comes from 150 foot deep out of Table Rock Lake. So water at 150 foot deep is always cold and that's what allows trout to live in here. Always having a constant flow of cold water is what really you know, allows the trout to do good in here. And it's pretty tough to catch them uh, fishing with bass tackle if there's not water running. Although this looks beautiful and it's pretty, but it's not real. Now when the water's flowing and a bait's you know, coming by them real quick, you have more of a reaction. They're gonna make a mistake. Yeah, the horn's blowing now, so that means they're getting ready to release water. They put out a schedule every day at 4.30 for what they're gonna do tomorrow. They don't always go by that schedule, but it's, it's a pretty good guideline. It's 3.55, so they were supposed to turn it on at three o'clock, and it's four o'clock now, so they're an hour late in turning it on. Basically what I'm doing right now, there's like little lay down trees and cover and big boulders up through here. And when that current's running, those fish will get behind those boulders, you know, ambush and wait for something to drift down by them and they'll, they'll come out and get it. Um, you don't want anything that runs too deep or you're gonna, you're gonna get down and get hung up quite a bit. And there's, there's quite a bit of patches of grass through here. So you don't want something that's getting too, too deep. Good thing about this bait is you can, you can run it with your rod tip up high like this and keep it shallow or bring your rod tip down low and it gets, it'll get an extra couple foot deeper. There's a couple big old, oh, there's a big one after it right there. Oh, we got it. Nice. <laughs> now, same thing, don't, don't get in a hurry. Like I'm using, I'm only using six pound line. Uh, a lot of people will use a, a lot heavier line. I like, I just like the action that lighter line gives you. That's a nice rainbow. And, and six pound line to me, you know, when I'm used to using extremely light line on a fly rod, six pound line's pretty heavy. Yeah, that's a, that's a 20 inch rainbow there. That's kind of the, kind of the holy grail is, is a 20 incher. Kind of just as long as you take your time with them, that's a good fish. Oh, hold still. Now the difference between a barbless hook and it's <laughs> a little bit different here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, F-13, just an original floater. Why we do good on this color is uh, we've got a lot of chub, uh, chub minnows in here and they're basically gold, gold sided with a black back and a white belly. So the color, it's, it's similar to what it is, probably a little bit golder than what they are, but, but still it, uh, I believe that's why they bite it here. All this moss is floating down through here. Probably ought to do is run up river. All fish to some extent feed on other fish. 
And to some extent, even with when you're fly fishing, you know, you may be throwing a little jig or something, but you're trying to imitate a, uh, the minnows that are in there. So bass tackle really goes along with, with trout fishing. I mean, it's, I, I believe that, that uh, trout were made for fly rods you know, because they, uh, because they, the majority of their, of their forage is small, small, small bugs, small insects. But a big brown, the majority of his diet may be rainbow trout or other, you know, or other minnows. There's one. He's getting all wrapped up in it. He's like, what did I get a hold of here? That thing's beating me up. That's another little, little brown there. Pretty colors. He had a big appetite. I mean, you look at the size of the, it's a pretty fish. Kind of the equipment I'm using is, it's a Bass Pro Shop carbon light. And it's like a 6.9 medium light action. Um, I'm using six pound line. I use up to eight pound line. I don't use a lot heavier than eight pound line. I think you could probably get away with it. But I got a Fluger presidential reel and the line I'm using is just Bass Pro Shops uh, XPS Green Line, and it it really matches the color of the water here. Yeah, my bait is a Rapala F13. It's just a old standard floater. A lot of a lot of big fish been caught on that bait over the years. You might wonder why I'm standing in the middle of my boat and running my trolling motor off the dash. This is how I do it every day for many years. I'm a fishing guide and I've just gotten used to, this is my position. I'll have a client up front and a client on the back and I'm in the middle so I can help either one. One catches a fish, they swing it to me or one catches a fish back here and they swing it to me. I'm not sure if I know how to run a boat from the front anymore. <laughs> As I'm coming down the lake, what I'm just trying to do is maintain control of the boat. So I need to have, uh, I need to have the nose of the boat into the current. And, and I'll, either, I'll either just bump the, bump the trolling motor and, and keep reposition the nose of the boat so I'm staying pointed in the current. Or you can put it on autopilot and just slowly keep a little bit of pull on it to to keep you pointed upstream. Keeping the nose in the, in the current is the key to keeping control of your boat. And then as far as catching the fish, just cover water. I don't fish the same spots all the time. I move around. They're liable to position on the steep banks, but they're also liable to position on a flat. So don't, don't rule out anything. There's one after I got him. Oh, good brown. Really good brown. That's pretty good fish there. Might have to just kind of take our time with him. Yeah, this one's got a lot of color to him too. They're really, the browns are so beautiful. 10 pound line would be nice right now. <laughs> like it. <laughs> well, it's probably not going to get much better than that right there. <laughs> that hook came off in the net. Uh, that's a good one. 
Gonna catch a big old, big old brown. Come to Lake Taney Como. Give John Sappington a call. JohnSappington.com. <laughs> That's a big old pretty fish right there. Big old pretty fish. Oh, you got to be smarter. Don't be biting lures. Ha, ha, ha.